Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eric Lamar, your host of A Whole New Me Show. And I'd like to welcome you to our kickoff show, the official show for A Whole New Me. Join us every Tuesday evening, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, as we bring to you fantastic information regarding lifestyle transformation. Just to give you a little bit of history about A Whole New Me, if this is your first time ever hearing about the show, for the past year, just a little over a year, almost a month, I have been shooting videos, doing a lifestyle transformation journey that started September 1st, 2015. Now, why did I start that? Wow, that's a, uh, that's a life or death question, literally. Have you ever been in a situation where you were just afraid of going to sleep at night because you think it might be your last. Well, that's how I was feeling. A little over a year ago last summer, it was not a good feeling. I was having some uh, severe health issues, stress out the you know what, and I had come out of a 19-year uh, marriage. I had moved to Florida uh, almost two years ago, lost a big contract with a client worth about $150,000 a year. Um, in a new environment, starting a new business, and you can just imagine what all of that stress and turmoil feels like. And so at the end of the summer, my health just literally, it just reached the boiling point. It said, hey, man, I'm done. You better do something about this or we're, going, we're, we're checking out. So before I tell you the rest of that story, I want to just, again, welcome you to the broadcast tonight. You're watching this broadcast inside of your Facebook page. And just to kind of get you familiar, you may be watching on a mobile device um, or you could be watching on your computer. But right up above your the video here, you should be able to see a share button, like a Facebook button or a Google Plus, any of your Twitter and so forth. If you'd like to invite others to come into the show, tweet that out, uh, Google Plus, Facebook, put it out there, invite others to come in and they're welcome to join the broadcast and so forth. Below, all the way to the bottom, you will see a comment feed. Now, if you're on an iPhone, in order to actually make comments, you kind of have to come out of the video. Facebook doesn't make it super easy, and eventually we're gonna have this broadcast where you're watching it right on a Facebook live stream. There's some additional technology that uh, as our show builds up in revenue and becomes more valuable, we'll be able to bring on some cool tools that will still allow me to bring all my guests in from around the world, and we'll be broadcasting right through Facebook Live. But right now, Facebook Live is typically designed for a mobile device. But there are some other technology that uh, we'll be incorporating as our show grows. So help us grow the show. The focus of the show is all about lifestyle transformation. When I talk about lifestyle, I want you to think about a few things as it relates to your lifestyle. Have you ever been in a situation where you've just been embarrassed? You know, think about if you're if you were like me, and as I was telling you my story, and I'm gonna come back to that story. Um, it was difficult for me to sit on an airplane, being able to only use one or the seatbelt, the seatbelt that's in the seat, not asking, you know, you have to ask for an extender. And going to restaurants, not being able to sit at a booth, but having to sit at a table or not being able to go to an amusement park. Those are things for me. And I'm these these are just little, well, they were big issues that affected my life. Okay. So if you can relate to that or know of people that would like to release. 25, 50, 75, 150 pounds off of their bodies. What difference would that make in their lifestyle? How would that affect their work? How would that affect their play? How would that affect their love life? How would that affect dating? How would that affect travel? How about being comfortable on stage? You see, there is such a domino effect of things that are involved when a person has lifestyle challenges, sometimes those challenges stem right back to a person's physical 
health situation. So what happened with me back in August 2015, I was uh, driving across a bridge in Tampa, Florida. It's about a seven mile bridge across the water. And I tell you what, I had an episode that came across me where I started feeling very dizzy, feeling like I wanted to black out, numbness in my left arm, numbness in my right leg, and I had to swerve over and get off on the shoulder real quick. It was very scary. My heart rate was beating really fast. And I relaxed. I calmed down. I'm self-diagnosing what in the world is going on. And so I get back up on the highway and I continue to uh, drive and it hits me again. Well, I make it across the bridge and uh, I'll give more details into the story later. You're going to be hearing more about this stuff later on. But I finally got something to eat and I went on to the destination. That was really scary. I started checking my blood pressure and it was up around 200 over 105, 109 at times. And so I realized that, uh, you know what, I better do something. And so that's where a whole new me kicked off and I started putting a team together. Below the video that you're watching this broadcast on, you can see some of the older videos that I did working with some of the trainers and some of the people that have been a part of my team. And so what I did is I formed a team of people together. And that's where a whole new me started off. Well, I was weighing 337 pounds when I started my journey. And I'm glad to tell you today, I weigh around 268. So I'm close to 70, right at 69 pounds down. And that's exciting because to be able to release that kind of weight off my body in a year, I feel great. Now I'm starting to run. Um, my blood pressure, just this week, I've been having a problem now with it being too low. So the doctor has taken me off of one of the pills, one of the three pills that I was on. So I'm super excited about that because as I was training during my workouts and so forth, I would start getting that lightheaded feeling, but it was this time a feeling because my pressure had dropped too low. So the other day I went, uh, it was Monday, yesterday, um, after a workout, I had to run to the drugstore, check my blood pressure, and I'll show this to you here real quick to see if I can pull it up. And I was excited because I have never seen a blood pressure reading. Let's see if you can see that. 98 over 60 at 80 beats per minute. I had, I'd never seen blood pressure that low. And so I told my doctor, she's, and I was taking a half a pill. So she's like, you need to get off of one of those medicines. So I've been looking forward to that. So I'm sharing with you just a few things about myself, because if you've never, never heard my story, that's, that's a piece of what has happened. But so much has happened along the way in the course of a year. Well, I assembled a team of people together. I have a chef. I have a uh, uh, an acupuncture physician, I have a massage therapist, I have a chiropractor, my medical doctor, a mental therapy coach, I have a personal trainer. And I share those things with you because tonight's subject matter we're going to be talking about is something that's near and dear that affects so many people as you perhaps are starting to look at any type of transformation in your life. So I have a guest tonight that's going to be joining in um, that's actually filling in for my original guest. So I want to thank this young lady for joining in. Her partner was going to join me tonight. But we have Nargis Croft. Uh, we call her Professor Croft because she is an expert in the area of social media and financial literacy. And the reason why this conversation is super important is because financial literacy, finances, and your health have a correlation. Why is that? Well, first of all, as I mentioned, I have a team of people. One of the first things that people tell me is that, Eric, that's awesome. You have all these people. I wish I could afford to have these people to work with me. And I stop and I think, why can't people and why 
should people not enjoy what I've enjoyed? Because the scientific approach, I'm not going to get into all that detail tonight. You'll learn that as I bring the doctors on to the show. You'll learn that and so forth. But tonight, I just wanted to jump into a one of the areas that can really give you serious value um, as you approach your journey. You may already be in your journey and you want to take it up a notch. So I want to introduce our uh, guest tonight, Nargis. How are you tonight? I'm doing great, Eric. How are you? You know what? I am super fantastic. I just came off of my Tuesday evening walk with my uh, walking team. Uh, we get a 5K walk in on Tuesday evening, so I can't complain. It's been a, an amazing day. What's That's happening awesome. your way? How, how are your children? They're doing great. They're doing great. They're in their rooms. Uh, plowing through homework right now. Okay. Studying for tests. Education is important. All Edu kinds. Education is important. Well, well, tonight we're going to talk a little bit about financial education. Um, you are an expert in the area of income shifting. Now, some people may not have ever heard of that term, and I've learned that term over the last three years. Tell us a little bit about income shifting and how that affects so many families across this country well i was really blessed because um i found out about income shifting about three years ago and i'll be honest with you now that i look back i cannot imagine how i used to live um i'm a single mother with two children and i used to remember surviving from paycheck to paycheck there was never enough money in the end of my month. But with some simple strategies, you know, and then you're thinking, I'm a single mom, I'm working a full-time job, and getting another part-time job just to keep up was almost impossible. I wouldn't see my kids ever. So I came across, I was lucky enough to come across this um, income shifting. Um, it is a strategy that is actually taught by um, people that have been in financial industry for many years. And you know, at first it sounds, oh my goodness, well that sounds complicated and financial industry, I don't know anything about that. Well, it is is that anybody can do it. Uh, what income shifting consists, the basic principle is it is a way for you to minimize your taxes, reduce your debt, and start investing. It's very simple. You know, that's, that's really, I'm, I'm going to just pause just for a quick second because I want to lay the, the foundation for what she's about to say. You said something that right now I know a lot of people's ears are on high alert when we talk about minimizing taxes because just last night was this huge political debate and this is not a political conversation we're having tonight but a lot of people are very sensitive and i saw on facebook a lot of memes today talking about donald trump and the the tax situation actually this conversation tonight i want you to understand this very very carefully nothing about this conversation is about tax evasion tax avoidance, not paying your fair share of taxes or anything like that. But there was something he said. And if people get past the political rhetoric and the opinions, he said something last night that he was smart, that it was smart. Okay. And what she, Nargis is going to go through tonight, we're not going to get into, de you know, super details. We're just going to give you some, just some basic information that can whet your appetite for it. If you want to know more information, we can d dive deeper. But she's going to get into some of these things. And interesting enough, across America today, wealthy individuals, percentage of their income, pay less percentage in taxes than poor and middle class pay percentage of their income in taxes. And for some people, that can be frustrating. But tonight, what we want people to do is not get frustrated. Get excited to learn how can you reduce your percentage 
because these are government sponsored programs. So Nargis, tell us a little bit more about this minimizing taxes and why, why people should be interested in this government sponsored program that you're legally able to take advantage of that most just don't. Well, the reason most don't, Eric, um, it's like you said, you know, um, Donald Trump is being highlighted just because he is out there now and, you know, he's running for political party. But the thing about it is Donald Trump is not the only one. I mean, um, a lot of people that are in that, oh, these huge businesses, they're the same way. Percentage wise, they pay less taxes than their secretary. Now, again, I said percentage wise. <laughs> But um, there are two different tax codes, Eric. One tax code is written for a, an employee who have only a W-2 job. And then another tax code is for a business owner, particularly a small business owner. Okay? And a lot of people will wonder why. Well, I love reading and I love facts. Okay, um, I strongly recommend for people to read The Third Wave. Um, it's about entrepreneurs and government and different government programs where government wants and is willing to work together to have more entrepreneurs. But about the income shifting and minimizing taxes, it's very simple. If you have a W-4 job, if you fill out your W-4, most of the time, I don't know. When I went to school, my parents told me at my first job what, how I need to fill it out. And, you know, from then on, every single job I owned ever since have been the same way. You know, you put zero and, in everything. And how, how did you – okay, you put zero, you said? <laughs> I used to put zeros on everything without reading. Because if you go to your employer's, you know, HR or office, they don't know how to fill that out neither. Until recently, I found out that that form have two sides. Yeah. Most of the employers <laughs> don't make a copy of one side and hand you one side. You don't know. They don't know. But what you don't know is, you know, it's, it's a lot. It makes a huge difference. So if you really read it line by line, do you know, like, for example, when, and I, I didn't know that, but when I read it, I realized that, that when Obama uh, became a president, he made update, updates to W-4 form, like with children. A lot of people, when they claim children, um, they claim one for each child. Well, truly and honestly, you're supposed to claim two for example, for one child. Are you up and are you referencing the head of household? Uh, yeah, it's it's there. I mean, um, I I don't remember it by heart. What I'm saying is, he made changes to W four, but how would I know that if I didn't read it? Right, most and most of us don't. Yeah, most people. The form says at the top of the form, and we'll we'll pull up a form because we're going to go into more details tonight. Is our like I said, is our kickoff meeting, our kickoff show, and just wanted to introduce a few things but at the top of the w-4 form you can go to your job the very first line do you you know that by heart by any chance uh yes <laughs> well i can pull it up and read it um right away from irs.gov by the way sure uh, yeah. and you why don't you pull that up yeah the top the yes. top of the form is very important it says purpose complete form w-4 so that your employer can withhold the correct federal income tax from your pay. Consider completing a new form, W-4 form, each year and when your personal or financial situation changes. So what would you say are, are some things that would define your personal or financial situation changes that were recommend that you 
fill that form out every year. I think it's smart to read it every year anyways. Like I said, how would I know that Obama changed it unless I really looked at it and then I was like, whoa, how did that happen? Then I started researching and reading. Oh, yeah, it's one of the 10 million laws that got updated. I don't know. But um, example would be people get married, people get divorced, people have kids, and their W-4 still stays at zero. Well, and then sometimes people also get raises, people start a business, yeah. all types of things that can happen. And, yes. and, and that's one of the reasons why we wanted to just have this introductory conversation because there are ways, if you really, really read that form, and he said it beautifully, it has two sides. I didn't find out till three years ago that that form had two sides. And I, I've had many jobs and yeah. only filled out the one page. So ultimately, what are you seeing with some of the people that you work with when they go back and correct this form properly? What are some of the additional revenues that people are able to put into their pocket monthly? Gosh, I've seen anywhere between 150 to five to six hundred dollars. Just and like so, that. So when you think about if you can put an extra five hundred dollars a month into your paycheck, and obviously that's going to vary, depends on a person's income. But if you could put an extra five hundred a month into your paycheck, that's a six thousand dollar take home pay raise. What yes. could that do? What are you seeing people are able to do with that extra money? Well, in my case scenario, I am completely debt free and I'm investing. So my kids will never have to borrow money from financial aid for college. Um, I don't ever have to worry about my retirement fund um, personally. But, you know, I, I was reading an article somewhere and it said that average American, all they need to get out of negative in their bank account every month or all they need to keep them from writing hot checks every month. The, the difference is $300 in their monthly income. $300. Wow. And see, here's the thing. Most families get a tax refund every single year. If you take that tax refund and divide it over 12 months, each month, that's how much you're giving away, not making any interest on, could be investing, could be paying off bills, saving interest, but yet most people give that money away. But you know, Eric, you only get back like up to 80% of what you gave away because if you really, really complete it correctly, and you only pay in what only what you're supposed to pay in. A, a lot of people tell me, well, I still like a check refund in the end of the year. Yes, and some still do get it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it d depends upon the situation. But when you adjust your W-4 correctly, the way it was intended for you to fill out, and I mean, again, I'm not the one that wrote it. I went to irs.gov to read it. Um, it makes a huge difference in your whole lifestyle. You know, you, you have money to put aside for emergencies. You have money to invest. You have money to pay off debt. And Eric, I'm sorry, but if I owe debt and I paid it off, I no longer pay every month towards that debt. So the money that I used to pay for that debt, it's, it's money in my pocket. Absolutely. So now that's increasing my income yet again. So what are, what are some of the, you mentioned as far as income shifting, because we're going to wrap this up here in just a quick second. You said minimizing taxes, eliminating debt and investing. Now we're not giving investment advice. This is not this type of no. show and so forth, but what are some of the cool things that you've learned about investing that you didn't know about before? Well, I've learned a lot, Eric, and I'll be honest with you, 
everybody who's watching now and thinking, oh my goodness, this is over my head. I promise you, I used to be that girl that had no idea that would take her taxes to H&R Block to file and had no idea what I was doing or anything like that. But this program have helped me to turn my life around, okay? Uh, with investing, what I've learned by going to different classes that the actual investors and financial advisors were teaching is there are so many things at our fingertips and we can be our own brokers. We don't have to pay all these fees. Um, all it takes is just a little education. I know it sounds hard, but it re it's really not. Um, something simple as a mutual fund is going to diversify your portfolio very easily. And think about it. They're reforming medical field. I mean, medical field will always be there. And they will always, you know, change it, build on to it, make it fluid. So that's always good areas to look at. But diversifying your portfolio is, it can be very easy. So what she's saying is that you have people that you can depend on that give you education that walk you through it mm -hmm. as far yeah. as when it comes to investing. So again, we don't want to get too deep off into this tonight. The main thing we want you to take away uh, from tonight's broadcast, being that this is our first first broadcast, I want people to get into the mindset of being able to take control, choice and control because it's your money. And how does health, business, finance, relationships, all the areas that we're going to be focused on in the show, how do they all work together? Well, tonight, hopefully you can see that if you can come up with extra three to five, six, seven hundred dollars a month in your take home pay, think about being able to use those dollars to afford a trainer, maybe a chef, eating differently, your gym memberships. And then what if we tell you that you could write all that stuff off? Well, that's for another day. But if you can write off your lifestyle transformation, would you want to do it? I mean, how about you, Nargis? Would you want to do that? Uh, yes, <laughs> definitely. Well, and, well, we will have you come back on later on because I know you're already doing this stuff. So, and that's and that's the wonderful thing about this is because there are so many people that you know. We're about to get into the what most people consider the holiday season. And people will start traveling with family, eating, and doing all kinds of things that then they come back through on January and they get into this cycle. Okay, I'm going to lose weight. And they set these New Year resolutions every year. Folks, <laughs> have you seen this? How long has this cycle been going on for you? How many years? Does January come around and you say the exact same thing? Well, why wait to January? Why not get started now? Get yourself into a routine to where maybe just a few of those holidays, you allow yourself liberation days. See, in a whole new me, we have a, a complete different philosophy of terms. We don't say weight loss. We say weight release. We don't say cheat days. We say day of liberation. And why, why do we not say cheat? Because we're not cheaters. We're all winners. So remember that. And we don't lose weight. We release weight. I'm not trying to find something that I lost. If I lose something, I'm looking for it. I'm worried about it. Believe me, this 70 pounds, man, I'm not looking for it. <laughs> it's nowhere to be found. I don't care. Good riddance. So you'll get to, as you get around our culture, 
of a whole new me, please ask to join our group and shoot me an email if you have any questions, want more details about income shifting and so forth. Send me an email at uh, I am Eric Lamar at gmail.com. Uh, I've just noticed that my Eric Lamar at a whole new me show, I'm having some some kickbacks on that email. So please just send it to my backup email, which, which is I am Eric Lamar at gmail.com. If you have more questions about income shifting, we'll be going in deeper dive into that. And the 12 week boot camp, we take in income shifting and we break it down step by step. Because when you can transform your income and you can start putting extra money, and then you start putting that into your health journey, and your health starts improving, and then your your dating life starts to improve or your marital life even gets better. Getting off of medications is a huge goal every person should have, particularly blood pressure medication. That's not good for a happy marriage. I'm just saying, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it G-rated, but that's not good. Get off that stuff. It all works together. Relationships will improve. If you have a business, I tell you what, your confidence, being in front of a camera, being in front of people, it's going to improve. Your income is going to improve. Your lifestyle is going to improve because you'll be taking trips, doing all types of things. So I want to just thank Nargis for coming on tonight and just giving us that brief introduction to income shifting. I want to thank you for tuning in to the show, Market Calendars, each week, nine under time, we'll be live right here on Facebook, YouTube, whatever, wherever you're watching this from. And I want to thank everyone. Remember, choose happiness, choose health, show someone some love because with you, else matters. Put your oxygen mask on first before we can help someone else. Real quick, the last couple updates. In the Tampa area, there was a walk that started 52 weeks ago, this coming Saturday. I started this walk with a friend, and this walk has continued for 52 weeks. Every weekend, we do a 5K walk. Well, we are celebrating this walk this Saturday. Matter of fact, let me grab, uh, let me grab something real quick. Our shirts came in. These are the anniversary shirts. Did you notice there? A whole new me. Yay. Commitment Yay. matters, 52 straight. October 1st, 2016. And also we have sponsors for the show, uh, for the walk. I want to thank, thank our sponsors that uh, participate and are choosing to support healthy lifestyles. So, uh, we'll see you on Saturday. This is going to be those. Many have ordered their T-shirts around the country and around the world. Um, this is an international. I, I make sure you see this on the back of the shirt. Walk for International Day of Health coincides on Saturday with our anniversary walk. So we're going to have people all around the world that's a part of the Whole New Me community that are going to be walking in their their neighborhoods, their malls, parks, or whatever. They're going to be shooting videos, wearing their shirts. We're going to be putting a compilation video together. Again, A Whole New Me now is more than my personal story. When I started this, I was just sharing with people, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm doing. And then I'll show you this is what I did. Now others are joining in with me. And so I want to thank everyone who comes out and supports the walk. And because, you know, the more we can do to change the trends of diseases, obesity, and lives that are cut short due to health, it's really, really simple. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm not here to diagnose or treat or anything like that. But, you know, when you give the body the tools it needs, it knows what to do with it. But if you give it opposite of that, it doesn't know what to do with synthetic food. It doesn't know what to do with all of this um, processed stuff. Give your body good quality food and it will reward you. And I'm living proof of that. I eat a lot and I'm losing weight. I'm releasing weight. 
See, we don't say that we're losing weight. So I just want you to be able to make that connection to there. So as you continue to hear me say that, that's what I'm talking about, releasing weight. So I'm super excited. We have that coming up this Saturday. We'll see you guys next Tuesday. Special guests will be on for the show. And uh, a couple of things that you can do to help the show. If you know business owners that would like to get uh, their business uh, promoted on our show, we have opportunities for sponsors who want to become show partners. I want to bring these individuals on so we can showcase and highlight their business. You know, a couple of our sponsors, I just want to say something real quick about them uh, that are coming up on the show, I mean, on the walk. Uh, we have uh, Grassroots Healthcare, which is Dr. Melita Tate in the Tulsa, Oklahoma area. We have Ray's Vegan Soul, who is my chef. Um, peace of mind. You know, there's, uh, this is Stephen Blow over in the United Kingdom. You know Stephen, don't you, Nargis? Yes. What can you say a little bit about Stephen? Oh, he's awesome. Stephen is, um, he have his own practice. He's, gosh, he's worldwide. He loves helping people. He loves sharing his wisdom. He helps people that have panic he has, issues, correct? Yes. Um, and not just panic attacks. He does a lot. But, yes, he likes, he, he specializes with people that have panic attacks, and he works with them. Um, he has his own YouTube channel. His uh, Facebook page is Panic Attacks Be Gone, I believe. You guys go check it out. It's really good. So that's our international sponsor we have for the show. And then we have a Caring Touch uh, Skin Therapy. You may see some of the body wrapping videos that I've done. And then um, Complete uh, Credit Care. If your credit is holding you down from getting the things that you need, you want to visit Complete uh, Credit, uh, Complete Care, I'm saying it correctly, Complete Care Credit, yeah. And then Peak Potentials, Coaching and Consulting. You know, for women out there, I encourage you to connect with this wonderful soul, Tara, because she has a program called Dominating Divas. I've watched, I've been in a room with amazing women. It's awesome. Praxis Systems, business owners, business solutions, websites, social media strategies. You want to contact Raphael Love. And last but not least, Avery Construction, kitchen bath remodeling. You know, as part of your journey, you may want to reward yourself with a remodel of some sort. Because, again, becoming a, a whole new you, that is important have something that you're working for as a reward and i promise you you will achieve that reward thanks for tuning in tonight it's been another great show we'll see you next tuesday evening nine o'clock eastern standard time invite your friends let them know all about this have a good night